Hey, yo, what's shaking? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. I got a question for you. What is the one thing that you can pay for and this doesn't cost you a dollar? It doesn't even cost you a nickel. Think about that. Let's talk about it. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of raw. So, I'm sure you, uh, I'm sure you should have guessed by now. The answer is very simple. What is the one thing? you can pay for it doesn't cost you a nickel the answer is attention 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 to pay attention doesn't cost you a nickel doesn't cost you a dollar a dime penny quarter but what's so funny about the fact that you know paying attention it's, it's free. What's so funny about that is that how few people actually pay attention to anything. Pay attention to what's right in front of them. And um, I'm talking about like common sense shit. I mean, let's talk about just relationships. Like for, for instance, when you meet someone, you're usually given the signs. You're usually given the signs early, right away. Like, before you get jammed up into some one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten year relationship, right? You usually saw the signs early. You just didn't pay attention to them. You didn't pay attention to the signs. You ignored them. And here you are. Trying to figure out, yo, what the f just happened here? Right? And that is basically uh, the situation. That's basically what it is. You didn't pay attention. So now you got to pay. You woke up one day and realized, you know, you wasn't paying attention. So... You could do one or two things. You could either start paying attention right away, right? Or you can continue to um, play dumb and, 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 and play the blind man. That's not going to benefit you, though. You, you're just going, it's just going to get worse for you. But you saw the signs early. Make no mistake about it. Common sense is not so common. But common sense is a real thing. And common sense goes hand in hand with just paying attention. Pay attention to that feeling you get. Right? That feeling you get. There's a lot of names for this. Some people call it their instincts. Intuition. So you, uh, you weren't paying attention to the signs or you were ignoring them. Even if you paid attention, you thought maybe you could fix that. But you couldn't. Uh... She don't want to be fixed. She wants you to uh, accept all of the madness that she brings, all the chaos she brings. What I would say to you is real simple. Before you put yourself in a situation or go all in to a situation, pay attention. Use your common sense. You'll find that you had the answers the whole time. It's not a mystery why you're in the position you're in. You just can't pay attention. We spend money on everything that, you know, from our, from our needs to our, to our desires, man. But we don't pay attention and it's free. Check that out, like dig that. 
Today is even easier than it was, you know, back in the day. Like I'm old enough to remember as a teenager or young adult, you know, dealing with the opposite sex and, you know, um, just learning this person, getting to know someone. You know, it, it took time. It took more time back then because we didn't have social media and, you know, text messages and cell phones and et cetera, et cetera and email. We had to actually meet with the person, talk to them, get their phone number, call them, visit them, get to know their family, all that, all that kind of shit. You know, their friends. Now, you can meet someone. It's very easy to find out what type of person they are if you're paying attention. You don't have to go through, you know, weeks and months of trying to figure somebody out, whether they're a good person or, or a good person for you to be dealing with. And I hate when I meet, I hate, you know, uh, asking a woman for her social media when I meet her. And I, and I don't like when a woman asks me for my social media when she meets me either, but I understand the necessity at the same time. Because people are out here bugging out. They don't lost their mind. So now you're asking, well, what you mean, Cab? Like, what do you what do you pay attention to? Like, what are you supposed to pay, be paying attention to? Pay attention to actions. And if the words don't match the actions, then you you know everything you need to know. It doesn't matter what somebody says. It matters what they do. Right? And again, if you're paying attention, you'll be able to figure that out pretty pretty fast like the first time you meet someone you'll be able to figure out who they are if you're paying attention i know how to pay attention to a woman so when i meet a woman i can find out in the first five minutes what this woman's about and whether i should invest you know any time in her at all and sometimes it takes you know you buying her a drink if you're out somewhere or, you know, spending a few dollars on a coffee or something, whatever it is, to, uh, sometimes it takes that, no, I'm not talking to you right now, and guess what, you might find out right away, by, by, after that coffee or that drink, that, you know what, I'm glad I invested that, you know, that $20 or that $10, into that drink in that 30 minutes because guess what that's that's going to save me thousands of dollars in the future <laughs> you dig what I'm saying you know she just told on herself because you let her talk it's good let them get a little tipsy let them tell the truth so that they can save you time and money in the future Check out their social media. They're using social media for entertainment and a place to vent. Understand that. If a woman does not own a business and have a business page, she's using social media as a personal entertainment and venting uh, vehicle. So all you got to do to find out what type of woman this is is to go on her page and, and uh, you know, scroll left and scroll right scroll down you know check out what she's talking about and posting right now and check out what she was posting a year ago We're talking about a year ago if she's talking about the same stuff and posting the same stuff on the same energy as she was last year if, if you see some toxic shit on there then guess what that's who she is it don't matter what she told you at the, on the date it don't matter she told you in person. It matters what she's posting. It matters what she's showing you. Not what she's telling you. Pay attention. It doesn't cost a dime to pay attention. But it's very expensive if you choose not to pay attention. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? not paying attention to some stuff that you're supposed to pay attention to, some signs, some flags you're supposed to pay attention to, 
okay, is can cost you thousands of dollars. Can cost you your life, okay? Once again, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.